Hello folks, uh, pleasant good morning to you wherever it is you're watching from. As you can see smoke bellowing into the early morning skies. This is the scene from around the headquarters of the Congress for Democratic Change. You see bystanders, you see a broken windshield and glasses debris all on the main Tottenham Boulevard. This should have been a busy Thursday morning for Liberians to commute to and fro, to and fro, but as you can see, the entire Tottenham Boulevard, this stretch is now like a war zone. Smoke from tires all in the air this morning, trying to catch my breath, and Liberians from all walks of life standing and observing what is happening from what we've been told different stories we are trying to ascertain as to as you can see stones been thrown stones been thrown coming from the headquarters of the cdc stones stones being thrown and their gas fired back into the fence of the CDC as well. So stones have been thrown. We have to keep a safe distance. Tear gas, tell us that fire in return. This is what is unfolding this morning. We have to keep a safe distance. Another tear gas canister fired. From what we've been informed, and it is from eyewitnesses and community dwellers' accounts, another tear gas canister, as you can see, fire set ablaze on tires. And what we've been informed is that. The LDA reportedly, again, this is from eyewitnesses who spoken to, the LDA reportedly carried out a raid last night, and this is retaliation for that. That is not a confirmed information. It's just what we've been told by several community dwellers and eyewitnesses we've spoken to. So, stones being thrown, the police responding with... Ah, I'm choking from the tear gas. So folks, this is chaotic scenes. Chaotic scenes. Another tear gas fired. And so, folks, wherever you are, share this live podcast. This is Thursday morning, and the entire Tottenham Boulevard has been cordoned off by officers of the LNP. Tires burning on the other end, they're far in front of the headquarters of the Lone Star Cell MTN. And this is the headquarters of the Congress for Democratic Change. Earlier when we arrived, we saw stones being thrown from within the compound there. And the other end leading to the old road has also been cordoned off. So Thursday morning is what it is like from the main road headed from Pinsville to Monrovia. Commuting activities have all ceased and all vehicles have been rerouted using the old road side. Now, what the background story of what ignited and sparked all of this 
is unconfirmed, and I don't want to um, say it word for word, it's unconfirmed, we've been hinted that last night uh, there was a raid uh, by the LDA. Again, this is unconfirmed report, that's what we were told by um, some community dwellers and eyewitnesses we spoke with that there was a raid last night and that didn't go down well with um, folks from around this community and within the CDC headquarters. Um, they felt that that was an encroachment and um, those are all confirmed report and hence this morning tires were set ablaze and the police had to respond. Again, we're still getting the full background story of what caused all of this, but tear gas canisters have been fired and stones have been thrown in exchange. If we just stick you on a quick, 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 quick look, this is what it is. Yeah. So, it, it, this is what it is. So, the choking smell of the tear gas is imminent all around here. Debris of stones being thrown at officers who are in their readiness posture, as you can see. Yeah, Cottington Graduate School is like a ghost town, and this entire community is quiet. So, so this is what it is. So the police are trying to clear the burning tires off the road and vehicles have been turned back as well. Another contingent of police officers directly opposite the main entrance leading to the headquarters of the CDC. So folks, uh, you're welcome. Just, uh, into the compound earlier when we arrived tear gas uh, cans were being fired and stones were being thrown as well but so far there seemed to be some calm and as to whether it is the calm before the storm that is the question as to who's regrouping or who's being calmed down we cannot tell you what the next move will be but if you headed towards town and you are to use the Tottenham Boulevard, just be assured that this is what is happening here this morning. There is a protest scene and the police has responded um, and this has led to the portion of the Tottenham Boulevard from um, the Orange Digital Center or from the uh, PLP's headquarters and coming towards the old road junction. This entire stretch has been Pondered off. As you can see, the sizes of stones that have been thrown, they're all on the main road. Sticks and the rest. Yeah. 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 So, you have to talk about my, my, my media colleague. <laughs> It's, it's complaining about the tear gas. <laughs> These are some of the challenges we we we, we, we faced with we passed through, and uh, his eyes are tearing and red for that matter. But the background story, we are still getting different stories from um, different individuals we 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 we've spoken with. But at the end of the day, the reality on the ground is this is what is unfolding. Um, there isn't the firing of tear gas canisters as for now. It has ceased and stones have not come from the headquarters of the CDC uh, uh, as of now. That too has ceased. But the police are trying to clear the road. These are the sizes, different sizes of stones, as you can see, um, thrown on the main Tottenham Boulevard and towards the police. The police maintaining their war here and so far, it has turned from a war of stones and tear gas to a war of verbal insults and altercations. The police have officers 
year. And the second war of police officers are carrying automatic rifles and they further behind. So, guys from within the compound are saying they are prepared and ready to die. That is what they're saying, that this is war that has been declared according to what we're hearing, that this is war that has been declared and they are prepared. So, as you see, the LNP is still maintaining their war, their line, they're still maintaining their line here. Traffic has been stopped from all angles. There isn't any traffic or vehicular movement as for now. So this is the police war. This is the police war. And So that is that is complaints that we are hearing that there is a serious disenchantment from what we've gathered that allegedly a DA operation led officers into the compound of the CDC, but that is all confirmed and we'll be calling our sources at the LDA to find out as well as to what the operation last night was. So right now people are moving as compared to earlier when we came. Um, pedestrians are now moving and many of these individuals would have opted to ride public transport, but because of what is happening, they are now forced to trek. They forced to trek and there is no vehicular traffic whatsoever from this stretch of the Tottenham Boulevard, that is from the Orange Digital Center area coming towards Congo, um, the Old Road Junction, there is absolutely no vehicular movement. What has been established now is a buffer zone by the LNP. So civilians are moving and the stench and scent, the choking smell of the tear gas is also evident. Um, sparklings and fires from tires that have been set ablaze. As you can see, the trail here, it was here in the middle of the Tottenham Boulevard that has been removed and the police have cornered off this entire area. So far, what we've gathered is um, this agitation was sparked by uh, a reported raid of the LDEA yesterday, uh, last night. That's what we were informed and that this raid, uh, seditions and um, those who are agitating felt it encroached on their premises and hence this morning they set ablaze tires and the rest to stop the movement of people and to protest as well so vehicles have been rerouted the the tire and many of whom are going to use the Tottenham boulevard that is through the old road area and to get on the Tottenham boulevard or many of whom are going to to turn around so that is that is what it is so now 
all the pedestrians have been rerouted to use the bank and not the main Tottenham Boulevard. So vehicular traffic rerouted and now this is a no-go zone for as long as the LNP will deem it unsafe for Liberians to use this stretch of the Tottenham Boulevard. The sun is gradually taking its place in the sky. What symbolizes a beautiful day has started on not so much of a beautiful note. We arrived this morning to the scenes of tear gas canisters being fired into the headquarters of the CDC at agitating uh, Liberians who were throwing stones at the police as well. Tires were set ablaze and the smoke is still bellowing into the early morning sunshine. A scene that reminisces one of a highly charged political or social protest scene. But what we've been informed of is this agitation is in retaliation to the Liberia Drug Enforcement Agency carrying out its duties and according to those agitated, it encroached on their properties. And that is the reason they're out here to showcase their strength. We also want to uh, go and speak with more eyewitnesses as we bring you this live scene. So absolutely no vehicle is using this stretch of the Tottenham Boulevard. So if you in to town, rest assured that you'll be caught in a traffic jam just around the 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 old road area and this traffic is going to stretch for as long as it can go because as we so the guys are coming out of their fence now the guys are they've come out of their fence from being behind the gate they're now out of their fence So the out of defense now. Sunday, Sunday school words being used. So that guy is being removed. That guy is being removed. And okay, stones are coming again. We have to we have to retreat. Stones are coming again. Stones are coming again. And we too have to be on the alert. Stones are coming again. We have to be very alert as to what is unfolding as well. So folks, this is the scene from the CDC headquarters and
ਤੇ so that's why we've been informed that all this is due to uh, a DA riot that happened last night and according to what we've been told this led to what scenes we're witnessing this morning so guys standing on the fence and the police maintaining their line as well. Not so kind words. Remember, this is a live broadcast from a protest scene. So the choice of words will not be friendly. And the police are still maintaining their line. So this is the Tottenham Boulevard. If you're just joining us, we live from just in front of the headquarters of the Congress for Democratic Change, the CDC. And when we arrived, so that guy is carrying, that guy is carrying scissors and knife in his hands as well. Tires are still ablaze. What remains of the flames of tires as well. The police, the police are rerouting surveillance as well. That they shouldn't be encroaching on this area as well. So the police saying for the safety of these pedestrians, they shouldn't use this area for now. The glasses, broken pieces of windshield, all on the Tottenham Boulevard. Vehicular traffic being rerouted through the old road, as you can see. From a wide angle view, this is what you can see. Normally, as of this time, uh, you see a lot of vehicular traffic at this end, Liberians commuting to and fro from Pinesville to Monrovia and other um, surrounding areas. But this is what this is what it is like this morning. So, from what we've been informed again by eyewitnesses who've spoken to eyewitnesses accounts, is that last night there was a reported DEA raid um, that. According to eyewitnesses, engulfed this entire area, engulfed this entire area. And this morning, um, we woke up to calls that there has been tires placed on the road, stones placed on the road, and folks were protesting against that operation for which they termed an encroachment on their party grounds as well as in their community by the LDEA. And the police has responded when we arrived. Uh, tear gas canisters were being fired, stones were being thrown from, with this, from within the CDC headquarters towards the police officers, and the police responded by firing tear gas as well. It is all calmed at this moment. What is not happening is we're not seeing stones being thrown the, uh, as of now. That is what is happening. We're also not seeing vehicular traffic uh, movement, vehicular movement along the stretch of the Tottenham Boulevard. That is what is happening. Um, the police have retreated um, from on the main Tottenham Boulevard to just the shoulders of the Tottenham Boulevard, as you can see. And 
those agitating are within the compound of the Congress for Democratic Change as well. So if you're making your way, if you're making your way um, to town, or if you're already stuck in traffic, as I know of tens of thousands of Liberians are already stuck in traffic, um, this is the situation for now. It might ease down as the police are rerouting the traffic through old roads to provide some sort of respite for commuters. But this stretch, if you work along this stretch, you have to walk uh, through the old road area to get to your office. If your office is, um, is between anywhere from the Nigeria House area, um, to the old road area around the Invincible Park area there, um, you should just rest assured that you will be caught up in traffic and all you need to do is the alternative is to walk to your destination. Um, so um, from within the fence, uh, some are coming back um, towards the road. As you can see, the three fellows there, the outside and the rest of the guys who were previously outside agitating in front of the police have returned to the compound as to what that fellow is trying to do he he seemed he seemed to to be gathering stones okay he's gathering the the empty tear gas canister shells that is what he's gathering he's gathering the the empty tear gas canister cans that is what he's gathering so the smoke from tires So the guys are agitating that the LDEA's operation was an encroachment on their property and the LDEA should have provided a search and seizure warrant. We cannot confirm as to whether or not the actual operation did occur. So we're calling our sources from the LDEA to speak to that effect as well. But what we've been told by uh, numerous eyewitnesses, I spare their accounts as to what sparked all of this. Uh, uh, LDEA operation last night started all of this. For those who felt they were encroached upon, responded this morning by blocking the road and um, burning tires as well. So these are some of the shelves of tear gas canisters that were fired by the Liberia National Police officers in their bid to repel those who were throwing stones and other objects at them this morning. So the police are moving back on the Tottenham Boulevard. Again, tear gas canisters that were expended. So the police are moving closer, closer. So traffic is now being allowed to flow. The police are moving closer. Closer. Forming their line. 
and the police are now just they are moving their line right in front of the headquarters of the CDC so a clear distinction there is a driveway leading to the headquarters of the CDC so the police are maintaining their line just right right before the the driveway All right, so, so please let us know the quality of the audio. Um, we just got reports that there, there was an echo. Uh, please let us know the quality of the audio. And um, we're trying to cross the road and show you the proper action as to what is unfolding. So now there is vehicular movement along the Tottenham Boulevard and the, the guys are wielding their sticks as well. The police are here. So this is the police line and this is the protesters. So please let us know the quality, the quality of the of the audio. So the the police the police have maintaining their line right here and the protesters are coming closer 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 to them now and it's all about the bravado it's all about the insults it's all about the agitation the altercation and stones in the hands of um, some of the guys as well so this is what is happening kindly let us know the quality of the audio if you're getting any sort of echo whatsoever uh, please do let us know as well so bottles being busted um, into sharp objects it is it is getting close quarter now it is getting close quarters close quarters it is now and it's getting closer to the police as well so the LNP and these guys are almost face face to face almost face to face as you can see it's almost face to face it's almost face to face. So folks, wherever you are, these are scenes coming to you live from the Tottenham Boulevard. As the vehicular traffic movement continues, the close quarter agitation is also happening this morning. Pedestrians are being allowed to move as well. And we have to keep a very, very, very safe distance as we bring you what is unfolding we have to maintain a very very safe distance as any moment if these close quarter altercations continue to happen there might be another round of repelling So as pedestrians are being allowed to move, this could be and is a very volatile and sensitive situation as well.
everybody is on high alert. Even I am on high alert because as folks are moving around, encircling the police, you cannot tell who's a part of the protest and who's not as compared to when it was contained and there wasn't any sort of um, movement of people or vehicles. Uh, So wherever you joining us from, the update is now that um, vehicular movement is, um, is, is, is is finally allowed along the Tottenham Boulevard after hours of a of a no-go zone for a police operation to repel a protest. More police officers arriving as well. The guys are saying they are ready. That is what. So now they they are moving in front of the police, chanting, indeed that they are ready. We want to get closer again. We want to get closer. We see representative. Frank Safoko. We do see the vehicle belonging to CDC representative Frank Safoko also making his way to the headquarters, whether he's on board or not. Okay, there he is commanding his boys back into the fence. And these guys are uh, okay, one fellow has been taken by the police. One fellow has been taken by the police. And the other fellow is running. So one fellow has been taken by the police. Now they're moving. So the police moving more men towards the main entrance of the headquarters of the CDC. Stones are being thrown again. Stones are being thrown again. Stones have been thrown again. Stones are coming again. Frank Safoko is directing stones are coming. Stones are being thrown. There you have it, another stone coming again. Another stone coming again. Frank Safoko, the representative of district number nine, a CDC lawmaker, putting these agitating folks back behind. There you have it. Another stone coming. That, that really missed me. That missed me by the closest. That, there you have it again. Stones are coming. Stones are coming. And one of such stones missed me by a whisker. 
this. There you have it. There you have it. Another one. Another one. Another one. The stones are coming. The stones are coming. Another one. Another one. The stones are coming. And the police have sent in tear gas again. Tear gas again fired by the police. Another tear gas grenade fired by the police. And stones are coming. Bottles are coming. It is chaotic. It is. It is not chaotic again. The stones are coming. The tear gas are, have been sent. Stones are coming from all over. The tear gas coming from the police line. Those with vehicles. Sticks. Wow. Bottles. There you have the sound. Deb. Oh. My eyes. Oh. Oh. I've got tear gas in my eyes. Oh, my nose is running. Oh. My eyes are burning. My eyes. I have ingested a very large quantity of tear gas. have been turned back the police fired some rounds of tear gas after stones were being thrown again and within the space of a minute while we had vehicles plying this road They've all been turned back. I'm feeling the effects of the tear gas right now. This is Thursday morning so this is in Liberia, here. right along the Tottenham Boulevard. Representative Frank South Foco in his bid to manage the situation whilst in doing that the stones were being thrown from within the headquarters of the cdc the lnp responded by firing some rounds of tear gas canisters and throwing tear gas grenade to disperse those guys throwing the stones as well. The genesis of all this is because we've been informed of a LDA raid that affected the compound of the CDC. Whether or not the LDA officers did enter the premises of the CDC, that's what we've been informed of. And those are eyewitnesses accounts. The police have regrouped and uh,
So vehicular traffic again allowed to flow, but this time around the movement of um, pedestrians curtailed. The LMP maintaining their line just in front of the headquarters of the CDC, and we're here to provide you live coverage of what is unfolding. My name is Diamond Slanger. The police are retreating. The police are retreating. <laughs> police are retreating off the shoulders of the Tottenham Boulevard to allow for the movement of vehicles as well. Bottles, stones, tree stems and branches, and the rest. We're all thrown at the police. They responded by firing some rounds of tear gas as well. So now pedestrians are being allowed to move. So this has caused a lot of um, interruption to the business day of um, thousands of Liberians who, with the intention of commuting to their destinations as well, have had the unexpected stop and for hours this traffic it's going to take a long time to be reduced. The guys are still hyper. They're still issuing words to the police, as you would expect in any protest. Not so friendly words. The Tottenham Boulevard has got stones of all sizes. On the Tottenham Boulevard as evidence of the altercation that is currently ongoing. Yes, the police fired tear gas canister rounds. Yes, the agitating, protesting guys through stones and the rest one of those many spoons missed me by a whisker <laughs> and I also did feel the effect of the tear gas fired by the officers of the LNP Again, this is just one of the underlining factors our country is plagued with. The rapid percentage of uh, unemployed Liberian youth, the lack of economic activities, and the deep-rootedness of political alliance. Every part of the world protests do happen. But with Liberia being where we concentrated at and concentrated on, political alliance goes way beyond.
the factor of unemployment, political militarism, political alliances, and the rest have cooked up a situation as such that Fedor is wielding a machete in his hand. That fellow is wielding a machete as well. So far, as per what we've seen, only Representative Frank Sanfuku of District Number no. 9, a member of the House of Representatives and CDC Legislative Caucus, um, arrived as to other party leaders who are either on the compound or have, have arrived. We cannot confirm what we have not seen. We're only confirming what we've seen so far. We saw two persons wearing jackets of the Liberia Council of Churches as to whether or not they came to intervene after the renewed round of stones being thrown and tear gas are fired, they too dispersed for safety of their lives. So when we arrived earlier this morning, we did see tires being set ablaze. Um, we, we witnessed an exchange of stones being thrown between the police and the police firing a tear gas back at those throwing the stones and into the headquarters of the CDC. Uh, we also did see one fellow uh, being arrested uh, by the police. That one arrest we did witness. Uh, aside that, we, have, we didn't see anything else. If anything happened prior to our arrival, we cannot speak to that as well. Uh, so far, vehicles are moving, but as to how long, that is the question. We witnessed uh, where the police opened the road for vehicles um, to ply the Tottenham Boulevard and there was a renewed round of stones being thrown and tear gas being fired. Owners and operators of vehicles had to hurriedly, hurriedly um, take uh, their vehicles out of the way for fear of being damaged as uh, well. So we are trying to see if we can make contact with some officials of the CDC, uh, some of their top ranking officials, if they would love to speak to the media as well but from all indications from what we've gathered is that there was a dea operation on last night for which these guys claim encroached on their party headquarters and they too started this morning by burning tires and blocking the road the police then responded in a bit to clear the road and this is what we witnessing as well so wherever it is you watching us from some sort of calm has been restored. Calm in the sense that we haven't seen stones being thrown at this moment and tear gas canisters being fired. Um, but there is a large grouping in the headquarters of the Congress for Democratic Change, the main opposition party in Liberia as well. So the guys are just behind the stop sign there and chanting and singing. The police retreated from earlier being so close. Civil hostilities in this country ceased in 2003. But there are still 
a lot of mistrust and jealous protection of the peace by many Liberians. A generation that did see the atrocities and the negatives that comes with a civil crisis have always been quick to point out that the peace we enjoy should be maintained and upheld by all sides. A younger, exuberant generation for whom many did not witness the atrocities, the crimes, the other negatives associated with unrest in a country will always point to the fact that they are willing at whatever time to bring mayhem, a country that is still reeling from the effects of 14 years of civil crisis, our infrastructure all damaged, a country that is struggling in all aspects to come to terms with the effects of the civil crisis is always a melting pot for chaos. Political differences and alliances has been our single most challenge in terms of what might cause a spark that will go south. The police have always changed names whenever there is a new regime. When it was Ellen, the police was referred to as Ellen's police. George Man and We Are, the police was referred to as We Are Police. And today, the police force is being referred to as Black Eyes Police. Whichever side of the aisle you find yourself with the level of um, improvements being made, whether mediocre, tiny, small, or slow, there's been some sort of progress by Liberians home and abroad to contribute, whether through infrastructural development, empowerment, businesses, and the rest, a progress for which Liberians, majority, does not want to be eroded. But whenever scenes as such are sparked and staged, it is a reminder of what this country has been through. This country has also gone south because of a protest as well. 1979, the rest riot. For those of you who are students of uh, history, you do know what led to the 1980 coup. And since then, from 1980 to 1989, up to 2003, this country of ours has got its own dark history. So, stones are being thrown again. And we have to move. Some of the bottles being thrown, we have to move. So where there is come at one end, stones are coming from the other end. Tear gas being fired again. They love it. Against our people. They love it. The stones are coming. The stones are coming again. We have to keep a safe distance. They love it. And the guys are throwing the stones again at the police. The police retaliating. Another one missed that vehicle. Tear gas being fired. Stones being thrown. Vehicle owners and operators removing their cars immediately from the scene, being directed by the police to take their, take their vehicle from the road.
There you have it. As I said earlier, as the police allowed vehicles to move, this is the second time that um, allowing vehicles to ply the Tottenham Boulevard led to a renewed round of stones being thrown. So there you have another one. Another one. You can see the speed for which this shit. <laughs> I'm even falling. <laughs> that's, that's how it is. Excuse my French. I had to, I had to find myself a safe position. So there you have it. The guys are requesting for more tear gas. So in the space of a minute, this place again has been cleared. The threats are coming from all angles. The stones coming, being thrown. So this other group at the back here is a group of concern. The police are trying to maintain this side, which, which could turn to be another potential group because where we are now, we in the middle. We have some guys just behind us. And whether or not they, they are going to be hostile it's an issue for concern because now we are in the middle. So, again, this place, some of the stones that were thrown, this vehicle owner making sure he could pack in a safe space. And the guys are also regrouping within the fence, gathering their stones, trying quickly to, to remove his vehicle from here. This is what it is. So this is the current situation. We have another group that is gathering here around the Cottington Graduate School. And we do not know whether or not they will contribute to what's happening. And this is the main group. And whether or not this is a 360 motion to encircle. The police are trying to open up the road so as to create a gap but <laughs> attention should be paid to this end as well so the guys are the guys are standing on top of the fence now the guys are grouping So again, vehicles are being allowed. So that officer has got in his hand what looks like 
what looks like a petrol bomb. He's got that in his hand as to where he got it from. What looks like a petrol bomb. So we've been informed that there was actually a accelerant, according to an officer of gas, that was emptied from those three bottles. The guys are the guys are so they they say they saying the police should fire more tear gas. So the So if you're just joining us and wondering what has sparked all of this agitation, according to what we've gathered, there was a DEA reported operation last night. According to eyewitnesses we did speak to, uh, they did say that, according to them, there was a DEA operation last night that allegedly encroached on the grounds of the opposition CDC and hence this morning uh, they retaliated uh, by staging a roadblock of placing tires and setting them ablaze just along the Tottenham Boulevard you can still see the burnt mark of the tires that were set ablaze on the Tottenham Boulevard there and they were subsequently removed by by the police and when we arrived uh, again we only speak to what we did see as with our eyes and with our cameras we did see stones as we earlier witnessed being thrown at the police from the headquarters of the CDC and the police repelled by firing a number of tear gas uh, canisters into the headquarters of the CDC as well so pedestrians are moving again and this is what it is as we bring you this live coverage we also have to be very vigilant very very alert as well as to the situation unfolding yeah So folks, for those trying to make their way to their various destinations, this is what they are currently faced with. You have to be rerouted to the old road. You have to be rerouted through the old road. Whether you're making your way to town or from town, you have to be rerouted. So as you can see there there is a serious traffic jam here and you can see the broken pieces of um, car glasses door glasses or windscreens as well it's a busy busy morning thursday and this is what it is
so they are on locusts the this whole place is a no-go zone just a wide shot of how this place is a few weeks ago though there wasn't any sort of stones thrown and tear gas fired dismissed officers of the executive protection service EPS did do a show of force but conducted themselves in a peaceful manner the police responded and leaders of the CDC mainly the Secretary General Jefferson Koji and the party acting chair Jangako responded to what they termed as an illegal encroachment and provocation by officers of the LNP on their premises that went down without an incident fast forward to today it is a totally different script if you can just look at the number of stones on the Tottenham Boulevard one would feel that this is actually a war zone these are evidence of what transpired and what has been transpiring so far the remnants of stones the debris thrown the remnants of tires that were set ablaze is a stock reminder of the realities for tens of thousands of Liberians who cannot go about their daily activities and for those who are braving it to walk fast if you are alive during the days of the civil crisis in our country it reminds you of how Liberians internally displaced and for those finding they are deliberate used to trek in long queues from one end to the other the guys from within the fence are still agitating so folks this is a traffic advisory as well if you are home and you had plans of making your way to town the alternative route for you would be the Japanese freeway if you're making your way to town if you have anything to do along the Tottenham Boulevard here um, from this end all the way to sinker what you need to do is find an alternative means for this lady she's not waiting for anything she's running to save her precious life it is a volatile very volatile situation you can feel and actually touch the tense in the air at any moment there could be another round of exchanges stones and tear gas exchanges okay again whenever vehicles are moving that is when the guys use that as a means to to launch a, another round of stone throwing so now you see again this is the fourth time that whenever vehicles are allowed to move stones start to be thrown again there you have it another round of stone throwing and that hit that vehicle as you can see it just hit this vehicle again and in as much as the police are trying to allow for vehicular traffic movement this has been seen as the perfect opportunity on four occasions now for stones to be thrown. And this is not just affecting officers of the police, but also owners of vehicles as well. They have it again, stones. The police are retaliating. Tear gas fired, stones again being thrown.
not at the sizes. The stones are coming. You see it from right here? The high boot it. So folks, the stones have been thrown again. So there are different groups. Different groups. There is one group there. There is another group here. And there is another police contingent here. And mainly the stones are coming from this end and they're moving back into the fence. They have sticks so and the rest. Going to jump. We are going. And right. they're also getting reinforcement as well. So, So we move from one end to the next. There are others who are joining the guys in the fence. So the longer this carries on for, the more the, the guys are being reinforced. So they are marching. We see a group marching towards the main entrance of the CDC. An advantageous position we want to get. So the guys are coming. So they are just before their party headquarters chanting so now a larger group so folks they are chanting They have now gathered into a very large cluster. Some have batons. They drawing lines with um, sticks and the rest. So if you're just joining us, this is Spoon TV live from uh, in front of the headquarters of the congress for democratic change some eight months ago was the ruling party or was the main party in the coalition for democratic change
the coalition has since split it with the CDC maintaining its Congress for Democratic Change status. According to what we gathered this morning, the guys are moving out slowly. They are scratching slowly. And they are stretching slowly. They are extending themselves from this main cluster. So the police are about to move in as well. There they have it, the police are moving. The police are moving and they fired another tear gas grenade. The police are moving, the guys are running back into their headquarters. Stones, stones coming, stones being thrown. The police are firing tear gas and they too are being targeted by stones as well. The tear gas are coming, the sizes of the stones Keep increasing. There you have it. The stones, the stones are being targeted at this group that hit the human shield. There you have it. The stones are bottles, stones. So the stones are still being thrown. Look at the size of this metal. That was thrown right now. The police. So this has been, look at the size of that stone. And this, this is a bottle. Don't know what it contains, whether an accelerant or water that was thrown just now. The stench of the tear gas is, is taking over the air. The police are retreating. The guys are coming as the police are retreating. Look at the size of this stone. Wow. Wow, the stones are coming from all over. This group is being targeted. This police group here is being targeted. This police group, you can hear the sound. When you hear the sound, that is the stones hitting the shield of the police. This group is being targeted. This particular group is taking the brunt of the stones being thrown at them. As to when they will get reinforcement, that is the problem. This group is taking all of the fire. Now the police are the police are retaliating with tear gas, but this particular group here you can hear that police officer on the radio that his men are getting wounded. That is the stark reality of what is unfolding here. As the police retreat, the more stones are being thrown. Shoes broken by the sheer sizes of stones. So, this particular group has been isolated and targeted. If they do not get reinforcement from what we've seen, they will just be overrun. Isolated tear gas shots fired, but that is not compared to the number of stones coming in. That guy is also returning the tear gas that was fired by the police. The police officers are also retaliating 
Costoons, they are calling for backup. Then they are saying they need instruction to move in. This commander is talking for his men. And it's just it's just men, women, and the rest throwing the stones. And I've got hit by one just now. Got hit by another. The police officers on the ground are agitated. They're not getting orders to move in. And the frustration is being heard echoing in the voice of their commander. This particular group has been asked to show restraint. And the officers are saying they cannot continue to show restraint. They are taking the brunt of the fire. And if you have a disagreement in the command structure, this is what it is. The speaker is coming. That vehicle looks like that of the speaker. But the schools are still coming. Bottles are coming. The speaker has arrived, Jonathan Fonati Kofa, and these guys are instructing their guys to cease fire, to stop throwing stones because one of their own has arrived. You can see this guy waving the hands. He's from the speaker's motorcade and saying, seize it, seize it. So there seem to be... The speaker... The speaker's convoy... The speaker Kofa water his motorcade will will pass through. It's our for the two in this convoy and um so folks this is what is unfolding here. The there is the speaker, speaker Kofa. Speaker Kofa, looking at what is unfolding here, sir, what do you have to say about this? The speaker says no comment at this moment. He's moving in. This is the speaker. You can see the utter disgust on his face. A leading member of the CDC and the third man in the government of Liberia. Are they going to listen to him? Senate uh, Speaker, that's Representative Safoko was here earlier, but his intervention yielded nothing. Councillor Jonathan Fonati Kofa is the Speaker of the Republic of Liberia, and you can see the anguish on his face. But there is still the exchange of tear gas and stones, and the rest. The police are still receiving stones being thrown at them, and the guys are still throwing the stones, though they're being told by the Speaker to stop. But they are not listening at this moment. The schools are still coming. The schools are still coming. Even though the speaker is here, he's witnessing what is happening. He's saying, Stop. But they're not listening to Speaker Kofa. The schools are still being thrown. Even the speaker is retreating. Even the speaker is retreating. Even the speaker now is retreating. Stones being thrown in the direction of the speaker. They're running with the speaker. They're running with the speaker. Speaker Kofa is being removed from his from this scene. A protective helmet placed on his head. The speaker is not even being listened to by his own people. His security details telling him you can see how fast that pickup is reversing. The speaker is being removed. The speaker is being removed. He's been bundled. Fonati Kofa has not yielded any sort of, any sort of, any sort of influence here whatsoever. Whom are they going to listen to? Honorable Kofa has been removed. The speaker of the House of Representatives a very powerful figure within the CDC in his bid to bring calm has been stoned back. The word is being sent that the speaker is coming. And now, these guys, uh, these guys are now exiting the fence. 
Speaker Kofa has been guaranteed his safety. He's moving now. He's moving into the compound of the CDC. So the speaker, but the, as the speaker is making his way, the stones are still being thrown. As the speaker is making his way, the stones are still being thrown. Speaker Kofa is making his way. The guys are still throwing the stones. It's even close quarter now. The police. The police officers. The vehicles of the speaker also being stoned. Though he has made his way into the headquarters of the CDC. So now it's stone versus stone. The police are now throwing stones as well. They've been ordered to exercise restraints. But how far can restraints go? This particular group. Look, 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 look at the, the way the speaker vehicles are turning. Turning away. Even Speaker Kofa faced a stern resistance. The speaker vehicles are turning. And the police line has been breached. So these are vehicles in the motorcade of the speaker Jonathan Fonati Kofa, a stout, a top member of the Congress for Democratic Change. He has made his way into the headquarters of the CDC. And the rocks are still coming. The police officers have retreated off the Tottenham Boulevard. So this is what the Tottenham Boulevard looks like just in front of the headquarters of the CDC. This is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. <laughs> and even journalists are being targeted. I've been hit by one, missed by one, missed by several. And even though the speaker is in the compound of the CDC, the guys are now relenting. There is utter disgust. There is utter disgust from the commanders of the LMP detachment here on the ground. Men wounded. And they've been asked to exercise restraint. This particular group that has been reinforced earlier took the brunt of the stones exchanged, evidenced by the number of stones you're looking at just in front of me. This group with many wounded as huge, huge. As to So look at the number of stones that have been thrown. And if you contrast that to other parts and look at the number of tear gas cans that were expended, if you contrast that to other areas of this agitation, look at the number. This tells you that this police group did go through a lot. These were the main targets as the concentration of stones lets you know that this was the main area of this confrontation the officers we heard 
complaining that they were asked to exercise restraint and fired a number of tear gas canisters. Stones were also used. This is the headquarters of the Lone Star Cell MTN. On a normal day, this place would have been crowded with scores of Liberians uh, coming to do different um, bit of services here at this GSM provider. But with what is unfolding, it's just the wisest thing to have done. Employees, customers, and the like avoiding this place as well. The guys are making their way back. The guys are making their way back as to whether the speaker is exiting the compound. So, the stones are coming again. More stones. As the guys... The police. So this is from one angle to the next. Stones now coming from this end. So from the left to the right, stones targeted now at this other contingent of police officers. So this place, we had people gathering. So the police officers have been instructed to return stone for stone. Stone for stone. Mixed with tear gas. Look at the size of that stone. The police officers too are retaliating with stones and tear gas. Tear gas also coming from the CDC headquarters. Tear gas coming from there. Tear gas also coming from the fence of the CDC. Whether or not that was an unexpended tear gas canister thrown, but they've retaliated by throwing tear gas to stones. The guys have been at this for hours. You can hear the sound of the stone against that billboard. All you hear is the sound of expended tear gas canisters. Stones also coming. The the speaker. The speaker is still in the compound of the CDC as to when other leaders will emerge and when they will become restored.
that is the question. The stones are being thrown from all angles. The tear gas as well. This is the speaker's motorcade. This entire area now has been cleared. Earlier we had a lot of folks gathering here, but the police have managed to have cleared this place. And it is a hectic tax. Even for I, the journalist, it's not easy to to move about talking about these guys that have been targeted and those fired um, at with tear gas. So, what does Speaker Kofa is going to address the media? Let's uh, see if we can get closer. This is an action scene. Whether or not the speaker has been able to exert some sort of influence to calm this matter down. There he is. That is Speaker Kofa. So the speaker is in conversation with the riot police. So speaker Kofa. Yeah. There the speaker is still in conversation as to whether this will bring some sort of calm. That is the question. Speaker Kofa, what was your intervention, sir? What has been your intervention? This situation, sir, what has been your intervention? We did see you have discussed on your face. Speaker Kofa, what, what kind of solution have you preferred? What kind of solution have you preferred, sir? So the speaker is not answering any sort of questions. But as Liberians are chanting, they want peace. What is happening here is very, very far very far from being peaceful the house speaker leads the way the house speaker is leaving the speaker is leaving You said they were firing this morning? Yeah, we were firing. We were firing. Where, where area they were firing at? We were firing. We were firing. Okay, so again, there you have it. Eyewitnesses accounting that this morning or last night there was an exercise conducted reportedly by the 
LDEA in their bed to calm down on drugs. We will continue to bring you live coverage. The speaker has just left this area as to what intervention that has brought to this chaotic situation is yet to be seen. From further away, you can see smoke bellowing into the morning skies. It's 11 minutes to 10 a.m. Since this morning, this is what has been unfolding here. The vehicle of Representative Frank Safoko has also departed the compound of the CDC. Two visible leaders we've seen so far from the Congress for Democratic Change. When Speaker Kofa arrived, he was first rebuffed and stopped by a barrage of stone throwing. Then he was subsequently allowed to enter the compound of the CDC under heavy security presence escorted in by his partisans and so far there's been some calm but since i've been covering this scene earlier this morning there's usually some calm and then a storm these are stark evidence of what has unfolded here since this morning tires set ablaze stones sticks bottles and whatever of all sizes are a reminder of what has transpired here as quiet as what is usually a busy boulevard is is also evidence of the disruption in today's activities businesses school this is the building of the blue crest university college and adjacent is that of the Cottington Graduate School, or as quiet as a ghost town. The stones, the expended tear gas grenades, and the casualties from the Liberian National Police is also a reminder of the unfolding here today. We did listen to officers being asked to exercise restraint and use proportional force proportional force we did see turn into an exchange of stones between the cdc and the agitated fellows from within the fence of the congress for democratic change how long will this other period of calm last for is the question for those of us, journalists included, on this side of the road, we are all targets. Experience the choking sensation of the tear gas and burning sensation in my eyes. Taking a stone on my left thigh and missed by several. It's just a tip of the iceberg as to what actually occurred. As for now, it is back to being calm. This particular group went through the concentrated attack. These officers withstood a barrage of stones being thrown at them. Several petrol bombs we did see, but none leaked as of when we started this coverage three bottles were retrieved by a police officer and what he called gasoline was emptied from those bottles they expended canisters a 
of tear gas fired. We are hearing echoes of going home as to whether this is the end for now or for today, whether the speaker's presence brought this calm, we are yet to see. My name is Dama Slanger, so no more activities halted along this side of the Tottenham Boulevard. Guys posted all over within the compound of the CDC. So, this is what it is. So what would have been a very busy Tottenham Boulevard is none other than a battle zone. You can still see dying flames from tires that were set ablaze. You can still see the dying flames. You can see that um, this tire that was set ablaze was dragged off the road by the police. And you can see the size of this tree stem and this tree trunk that was also used as a barrier uh, this morning when police arrived. The benches, tables, and whatever it is that could have been used to block this road and stage a protest caused all of what is happening. You can see the sizes of these blocks. They were all a part of the roadblock that led to police intervention. The former vice president leaves just a stone's throw away from here. Bystanders and the rest. community dwellers and the rest so there's absolutely no vehicular movement the traffic jam is as far as the eye can see motorcyclists taxis private vehicles and the rest all halted So, the entire Tottenham Boulevard is affected. If you coming from Pinsville and um, headed to town, all you need to be aware of is there is a serious traffic congestion. And there is still the gathering of people from all walks. Motorcyclists halted. Another police contingent stationed right here, just before the home of the former vice president, creating a buffer zone, absolutely 
no vehicles are allowed from this end this entire stretch now is a hot zone So if you're just joining us, we are bringing you live coverage from along the Tottenham Boulevard, precisely uh, between the Catholic Junction to the Old Road Junction, uh, right before the headquarters of the Congress for Democratic Change, that is the CDC. Uh, this morning, we arrived as early as 8 a.m. Uh, to see an ongoing confrontation between the police and protesters from within the compound of the CDC. Upon our inquest, we were informed by eyewitnesses uh, that last night there was a raid conducted by officers of the Liberia Drug Enforcement Agency, reportedly um, targeting the headquarters of the CDC, according to what we were told, which we haven't been able to confirm as of yet by eyewitnesses account and this morning um, the guys from within the compound you know decided to retaliate by staging a roadblock which was then cleared by the police and the exchanges started since then there's been several episodes of exchanges uh, between the police and the agitated protesters from within the compound of the CDC tear gas canisters fired, stones thrown, sticks, bottles containing um, reported accelerants used as well. And the House Speaker, Councillor Jonathan Fonanti Kofa, was also um, targeted uh, by a barrage of stones being thrown at him. A second attempt to enter the compound of the CDC by the House Speaker was then greeted with a welcoming posture. He was ushered in by partisans and protesters as to what he said to the commander of the riot police on ground, Gregory, and what he said to his agitated partisans. So far, what we're seeing is a cessation of hostilities at this moment. As to how long this calm is going to last for, we are here to bring you all of that. The guys are retreating further moving from the main entrance of the CDC uh, further into their compound. As you can see, they've been instructed by a figure who appears to be one of their leaders. Bottles. Everyone's vigilant. The police have got their work cut out for them. These are some of what the police have been faced with.
I was uh, keep pouring down with tears, and that shows the extent to which this situation was, especially with all efforts being applied by hierarchy of the citizen, inclusive of the speaker who came here earlier on talking to uh, the both end, the police Lukanda and that of the supporters. But it's still the problem still seems to be happening. And as it stands, a certain time of this incident, it will slow down. Then the guys will reawaken. Uh, they will come back to where they were, uh, to, to, to the main entrance of the CDC and then the police will have to go closer. But it's, it has actually what we continue to say is the issue about peace. You know, quite recently that Liberia celebrated 21 years of peace. Mm -hmm. And then see all of these things happening. What that happened is that it scared away people from coming, especially investment activity. And from the northern end of yeah, this see, discussion. For yeah. a minute. So there in the compound of the CDC, you can see that um, there there was uh, another group that just joined them the police just allowed for um those who were standing by bystanders to move and a large group just entered the compound of the cdc to their jubilation of um those in the compound as if reinforcement has arrived uh, for them as you can see the entire group that was standing and Um, just quickly before I let go of you, um, we, we've been trying to gather eyewitnesses' accounts as to what sparked all of this. Uh, what has been your own investigative findings as to why this roadblock was staged? Well, uh, from what we saw earlier this morning, eventually this morning I went by around uh, uh, 5, I saw the social media post on uh, the National Secretary General of the Coalition that did a post and said that there was, group of, uh, there was a firing of live bullets. A lot of people have come here, the police have come to fire live bullets, but we cannot confirm as to whether did the police fire live bullets because we were not on the scene. And then eventually we saw another video with a lady shouting that the police have come to attack us. We have come to the Paris Hall. This is the second time that we are doing this as well. Uh, this is the second time that he said that the police have come to attack us, and that was some of the problems that, that stopped it. But then, on another hand, it is also being reported that the police have come to go away. Uh, one of the other, they discovered that there was a ghetto within the compound of the, the LDA. The LDA. The LDA. The Drug Enforcement Agency. This is something that escalated because this is one of, uh, this is one hand of the in, 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 uh, information that has been coming up into the public. But we have not independently verified as to what triggered all of these uh, happening. Unless when we came there, we saw burning of tire on the main ride. We saw police trying to quench the the, 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 the blazing uh, fire, and then they were move, removing the tire. Eventually, we saw that there was no vehicle moving, vehicle coming to from the way of town. were using the whole road belt, and then the others were also using the Nigerian horse ride to come to go towards town. But uh, and the police slowed down the, the, the as the guys seized their operation in terms of supporter, and then we will see that the police will give way for vehicle to pass. But then later on, the guys will, 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 wake, will, will wake up with reinforcement, uh, throwing stone, and then the police also firing tear gas. But we have not independently uh, 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 established as to what triggered all of this happening. Now that we saw the police, including the speaker came earlier, crowd talking to them, make his way to the compound. And at a certain time, when the speaker was going towards the compound, the security guard was asking, Chief, this place is not safe. You have to get back in your vehicle and leave. But he kept insisting that he wanted to go back into the compound. While at the same time, uh, 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 coming towards this, uh, the police, trying to talk to them. But at that instant, they were firing on tear gas and the, the supporters were also throwing stone. But we still look on to see what is happening, and we saw two members of the Liberia Council of Church. Yeah, we saw them in, 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 in their jackets. In their jacket, came to calm the situation, but as they were making their way towards the main entrance, there were 
there was a firing of tear gas and spoon throwing started there eventually and they had to make their way back. But again, we think that this is not coming to an end, especially when we are seeing a huge number of the supporters making their way into the compound of the coalition. So that's what we can see. Uh, from, 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 we, we were all around, you know, from one end to the other. And that's the reason we're having this discussion with our media colleagues, because all, our eyes cannot see everything at the same time. My last question to you, Yanti, I know you exhausted, your eyes were red. You were telling me, look at my eyes, look at my eyes. Um, did you see any officers sustaining injuries? And um, we did see one arrest. Did you see more than one arrest? No, I did see one arrest. Now, an individual who was taken at the end of uh, going towards the old road junction that was scary. And, but then the guys keep, uh, the guy uh, came uh, raising their hand and saying that they are carrying one of our, our colleagues and they started throwing snow. And then, but we didn't see any uh, we didn't see any injury so far and especially I as it has been reported the public that people were were naturally being killed in the process, we didn't see anything of such. No major injury other than what we what we are not seeing is not, we cannot report that. We cannot report that to the public. Thank you. What we are seeing is what we are reporting to the public. Thank you. Yanti Topa there is a revered Liberian journalist um, on the scene as well as we've been. And it's only fair to get another perspective, another eyewitness's view as to what has been unfolding here. All of what he said, as, uh, those are the facts for which we did see. And so far, vehicular movement is... Is, 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 is ongoing without any incident but earlier this morning whenever the road is open for vehicles to use then you see a renewed barrage of stones being thrown but as it stands there is some sort of calm as to how long this calm is going to be we cannot tell um so folks we remain posted here and this is what is unfolding the house speaker uh, was forcibly given a protective helmet after he was a target of stones being thrown. He arrived on the scene as of when uh, a contingent of police officers stationed directly where you see the mass of um, debris um, where the subject of attack and the house speaker tried to make his way into the compound of the CDC. What, what you can see now is within the compound, the number of individuals have tripled as of what the number was this morning we want to take a, an elevated stand an elevated view so that you can see what is happening so so you can see in the compound now the number of individuals have tripled what we we witnessed this morning the number we saw um, the guys have regrouped they've gotten some reinforcement as well because the police halted the movement of um, pedestrians a large number was unable to have joined them but since the free movement of citizens um were allowed by police now the number within the compound has tripled as well so folks um this is live scene um from just opposite the headquarters of the cdc uh earlier this morning this place was a no go zone according to eyewitnesses and a post from the secretary general of the cdc jefferson koji where he alleged that officers fired live uh, bullets from eyewitnesses what they accounted which we have not independently verified is that there was an ldea raid that allegedly encroached on the compound of the cdc eyewitnesses alleged again that there was the firing of live bullets and this morning the agitated partisans of the cdc whom have said that was a violation of the sanctity of their party's headquarter grounds staged a roadblock on both sides of the Tottenham Boulevard. One was staged just before the residence of the former Vice President Drew Howard Taylor and another uh, just in front of the Blue Crest University College. Tires were set ablaze, stones were piled on the road, pieces of sticks and benches were used, but at the end of the day, So we've been informed that there's, there's going to be a press statement. So thank you, Damon, for that. So we are informed that uh, there will be a press a statement issue there where we try to uh, get to hear 
from the CDC authority here. So Fox, this is Poon TV and uh, we are coming to you live just around the uh, CDC party headquarters in Congo town. And I'm Sylvester Chiropoli. Um Then with me, my colleague, Dama Slanga. So we understand that the CDC authority is about to speak to the media as it relates to this serious, serious riot here at the headquarters of the CTC. All right, so please keep posted as we bring you exactly what is unfolding here. So you see, so we try to move in uh, to uh, see exactly who is going to speak to the press as it relates to uh, this. So you see, uh, I've been with her and So you there you have a citizens uh, chatting. Uh, all right, so the chatting still ongoing. So there you have it. Uh, continue to chant. Uh, Buttercraft. So there you see a, a female there uh, taking the lead with the chanting battle crowd of the CDC. Uh, she's very, very energetic. A female partisan of the CDC leading this battle crowd here at the CDC headquarters in Congo Town. 
And you see the way she dressed, wrapping grenade wrap on her face. That's when we were at the whistle ready. So there you have this uh, female militant of the CDC wrapping a greenish soft in our face. So uh, we tell I've been we said welcome to the media again just couple of days you were at the LCC now you here at the headquarters bring her up to speed with those who are watching you what has happened at the CDC headquarters you see yes Disrespect to the rule of law. You are saying that Mr. Bwaka is the only last terror. The terror coming on us and creating this ordinance in the country. Since the morning, by the record of the Congress of Democracy, it's still on though. It's like it got locked. Yeah, it's still on, so I'll leave you on here somewhere. Yeah, be careful. Alright folks, um this is how I bid you farewell for now to turn over to another member of the crew. Uh so far there hasn't been any sort of encroachment any sort of stone throwing, any sort of tear gas canister being fired. You can call it a calm if you want to, but whether it's a temporary calm, that is the question. We remain here. My name is Diamond Slanger. Thank you so much for watching. We brought you all of the unfoldings um, since 8 a.m. this morning. Tension is still brewing. Door is at a level that has not escalated as to what we saw this morning, a spark or anything could lead to a renewed episode of stones being thrown and tear gas being fired. Vehicular movement has been restored along the Tottenham Boulevard, but office works here at the Lone Star Cell MTN.
has not resumed as well. This just goes to tell you how much of business as usual has been disrupted on today. Bye-bye.